Hello students, today we will start with the exercise 16a. This is from the lesson data handling, lesson number 16. Question number 1. The pictograph shows the bi-monthly sale of bicycles of a store. Answer the following questions. Bicycle sales of modern cycle store Haridwar in 2 months period. So here we have a pictograph, okay, that represents the number of cycles, bicycles sold in the given month. So let us see the first question. First question is, what does the picture of a bicycle represent? As we can see, it's given over here only. That is, the picture of one bicycle represents 10 bicycles. So, one bicycle stands for 10 bicycles. So, this is the answer, 10 bicycles of question number first, A. B. How many bicycles were stored in May, June? So, in the month of May and June, they are asking. So, here we have 1, 2, 3. 3 pictures of bicycles. So, each represents 10 bicycles. So, 10 multiply by how many bicycles? 1, 2 and 3. That is equal to 30. So, 30 bicycles is the answer. In what period were 25 bicycles sold? Let us see. 25 bicycles were sold in which month? So, let us count the number of bicycles sold in each month. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. It means 5 into 10. So, 5 into 10 is equal to 50. So, 50 bicycles were sold in the first month. Next, we have September to October. So, how many bicycles? 1. That means 10. Next, third one. 10, 20, 30. So, total bicycles sold were 30. May to June. 10, 20, 30. Again, 30. Then, next, fifth one. March to April. Only one bicycle means 30 bicycles. Jan to Feb means 1 and 2. So, how many? 20 bicycles. Now, we can see over here, there is no number. Okay. That is, the 25 bicycles were not sold in any of the months. So, the answer will be none. Let us see D1. In what period were the most bicycles sold and how many? We can see here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay. So, each, uh, each picture represents 10 bicycles. So, 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. And here also we have calculated. So, 50 is the maximum uh, bicycles sold in the month of November and December. So, the answer is 50 bicycles in the month of November to December. In such manner, we will solve question number 2. Let's, uh, let's move on to question number 3. MCQs. If one symbol represents 150 trees, then number of trees represented by 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 trees are how many? So, let us solve this question. Okay, so uh, one picture represents 150 trees. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, simple maths. 5 into 150. 0. 5, 5 is a 25. 2 carry. 5 and 5. 6, 7. 7, 50 trees. Option C is the answer. Now, question number 4. The picture graph shows the capacity of 4 containers. Which container has a capacity of one and a half, sorry, half liter? So, as you can see over here, bottle, flask, mug and glass. Now, um, each, this pic, each of the picture represents 10, 100 ml. So, this will become 100 plus 100, 200, 300, 400, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1000 ml. Okay, now we have to find out the capacity of half liter. 
and the question in the question uh, given is in ml so what we will do we will convert it so what we will do is we will write half a liter okay and then we will convert it into ml as we know that 1 liter is equal to 1000 ml we will multiply half liter into 1000 ml so 2 ones are 2 2 fives are 10 0 as it is and 0 as it is so 500 ml will be the answer now let us find out whether the bottle flask mug or the glass represent 500 ml so see here we can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay 10 pictures are given and each represent 100 ml so fourth one let us see in that first one that is bottle so that uh, those are 10 uh, 10 flasks so 10 into how much 100 ml as each picture represents 100 ml 10 into 100 is equal to 1000 ml let's see next one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 8 into how many 100 ml this will become 800 ml no this is not our answer mug 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 5 multiplied by 100 is equals to 500 ml yes we have got our answer so mug let us see what is the option for mug a bottle b flask c mug and d glass so the answer is c mug now question number 5 is similar to question number 1 and 2 I will be sending a PDF file okay, of the notes in order to you to understand it very well. okay, And then you can copy it down in your playbook. Now let us see a different type of question over here. Question number 6 we have. The table shows the number of TV sets sold at Devakar's store. Make a pictograph by using picture or stickers. Now uh, the name of the month is given. Whereas the TV sets sold. We have to convert this table okay, in the form of pictograph. And we have to use pictures. In this case I will be using pictures. So let us see. In the month of July there are 20 TV sets sold. So you have note down whatever is given in the question. That is July. In the month of July 20 TV sets were sold August 40, September 25, October 30. So, each picture stands for 5 TV sets. Okay, this is my condition over here to solve this question. So, here I have 20. So, what I will do is, I will make 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4 TV sets. Okay, so 4 fives are 20 here comes my answer i hope you are understanding students i have to i have to make the pictures accordingly okay that depends totally upon the number of tv sets where each picture represents five tv sets so for 40 what i will do is Forty, okay. Five ones are five. Five ones are ten. Five ones are fifteen. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, and forty. Now, twenty-five. So five, ten, twenty, and twenty-five. I hope children, you all are understanding. Let's see the last one. In the month of October, thirty TV sets were sold. So, and each stands for 5 TV sets. So, here goes my 5 TV sets plus 5, 10, plus 5, 15, plus 5, 20, plus 5, 25, and plus 5, 30. Okay, in such a manner you have to solve.